As dealerships began installing the part Toyota says will remedy its pedal problems, the government and the automaker deepened their disagreement on the scope and cause of the malfunction and added to customer confusion in the process. First, at a congressional hearing, the transportation secretary bluntly told anyone who owns a Toyota, stop driving it, take it to the to Toyota dealer because they believe they have the fix for it. But minutes later, he backtracked. What I said in there was obviously a misstatement. I, I, I'm, what I meant to say, and what I thought I said was, if you own one of these cars, or if you're in doubt, take it to the dealer, and they're going to fix it. Toyota raced to acknowledge LaHood's clarification, but worried customers were already flooding Toyota switchboards. Did you buy the vehicle here with us? So it creates a lot of confusion, and it's a real issue because I think consumers have some legitimate concerns and need straight answers. Like the one from service manager Brian Coster of Grossinger Toyota in Chicago. Are you confident that this little guy here is going to fix the problem? 100 percent. Toyota's confident in the repair, and so is the government. Called a shim, this stainless steel reinforcement is supposed to eliminate friction that Toyota says is causing its pedals to stick. Floor mats jammed under the pedal is a second cause. But government statistics point to a third, the onboard electronics. In 2002, Toyota switched from a mechanical system linking the driver's foot pedal to the engine and replaced it with a system using electronic signals governed by computer sensors and microprocessors. But almost immediately, complaints of sudden unexplained acceleration in Toyotas increased, nearly quadrupling in its best-selling Camry. And now there's word of mounting complaints about faulty brakes, run by electronics as well, in the new Prius, an unexplained acceleration in Toyota's Tacoma pickup. Two congressional committees and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration are looking at the electronics issue, even though Toyota insists it's not a problem. Now, Secretary LaHood says his department will continue to hold Toyota's feet to the fire. It's a point he intends to make in a conversation with the chairman of Toyota in the next couple of days. Katie? Dean Reynolds reporting from Chicago tonight. Thanks, Dean.